Good afternoon, everyone. In his first working day as president-elect, Joe Biden making his top priority clear. It starts with doing everything possible to get the COVID-19 under control. Biden meeting today with his new pandemic advisory team, celebrating promising news of an effective vaccine in the pipeline, and until it's ready, making a bipartisan plea for it masks. Before. It doesn't matter your party, your point of view. We can save tens of thousands of lives if everyone would just wear a mask. The Biden team moving forward with the transition, even as President Trump contests the outcome, claiming fraud without offering evidence. The Trump campaign pushing ahead with legal challenges and rebuffing calls to concede. That word's not even in our vocabulary right now. The Trump appointee heading the General Services Administration, so far refusing to authorize the resources to help the Biden team ramp up its transition work. And while the president's loyalists are standing by him. Do not concede, Mr. President. Fight hard. Some establishment Republicans are congratulating the new president-elect, including former President George W. Bush and Senator Mitt Romney. As the jockeying continues today, Vice President Mike Pence leading the Trump administration's first COVID task force meeting in three weeks. That as news breaks of more COVID infections at the White House. Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson testing positive, the first known case to hit the president's cabinet. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. While President-elect Biden lays out his goals for the first 100 days in office, including rejoining the World Health Organization and the Paris Climate Agreement, President Trump is considering holding campaign-style rallies in states where he's suing or calling for a recount. From the White House, Alice Barr, NBC News.